So, speaking of this, I have some exciting news for you. Um, in a way, it's good. In a way, it's not. Uh, so, Wet n Wild released their fall collection. It landed in some Walgreens. Not in my state or city that I know of. Um, but other states. Maybe, maybe this state, but another city, I don't know. But, um, um. My friend at HEB told me that they were supposed to get the shippers in on Monday. Um, and so I had to pick up a couple of things anyway. So I passed by and she was there and she gave me um, the, the fall collection. But um, just a, a, a few thoughts from what I have found out about this collection. Um, the Walgreens that have gotten them in that was on, on the real cheap, um, have a very small shipper, two eyeshadows, um, two of each eyeshadow, two of each lippy and two of each mascara. I opted not to get the mascara because I wasn't sure. I heard they were metallic and I've already got like a couple of, of colored mascaras and they dry out really fast and it's hard to use. And I only wear them, like, maybe for special looks or something like that. Um, and I heard they were metallic, and metallic irritates my eyes. Because I have, a, like, two metallic mascaras, like, maybe one or two. And it really irritates my eyes. Um, but, you know, I'm trying to confirm that. Um, I think the reason I thought they were metallic is because they said they did a bronze. And a bronze is a metallic color. But I don't know. Um, I'm... I saw one uh, review on YouTube where the girl swatched it and it, she didn't do a close up. It didn't look metallic. She didn't say it was metallic. So I don't know. So I opted not to get it, especially since um, I wasn't sure what to make of the metallic liquid lipsticks. Now, these are true metallic liquids. Um, and I really just wanted, they said it was like a plum and like a vampy color. Um, I the red looks like it's an orange red and then i wasn't really into pinks that much but when she actually handed these to me this looks like it has like a purple undertone um and i said if i'm gonna get i said you know i want to try it let me just see and i said i'm gonna get all of these i don't want to spend the money on the mascaras and i don't need the mascaras and but you know i'm in everybody's into the matte liquids so the first impression that i got that i want to tell you about is these are double wrapped i want to i haven't i haven't tried this one yet it is double wrapped once you take off this pack the wrapping it has another wrap on it i get i'm gonna assume so that it doesn't spill in shipments um that's the first thing i noticed the second thing i noticed when i tried them on i tried on the red first because i knew for i said i don't think this is gonna look good on me i could always return it to the store i could give it to my daughter um, the first impression I got was it was a little kind of a little oily. A lot of the mats they have like this oil consistency inside of them, or the, it, but it dries. The, I think that's the liquid that makes it dry. So I you have to give this a couple of pumps, and and it's putting air in it, which isn't great. But I've noticed this with the next ones too. You have to pump it a little bit to get everything all mixed up. And once I did that, I was able to get a good coverage because before it was just like a galoppy mess. So once I did that, I was able to get a good coverage. First impression was it dried down to a matte. N not as drying as some other formulas like the LA Color ones um, or the Milani ones. Um, but they did dry down to a matte. I drank some water with it. I had it on for a few hours. And... It still stayed on. Um, then I had I, ba I had baked chicken, but even baked chicken has like some grease in the skin, or some grease in it. I think that comes out of the skin. So when I took my bite of chicken, um, I noticed it already. It was coming off. These these only come off with an oil based makeup remover. That's to be expected. I didn't test the red one to like to see how it transferred, but the i tried the this one and oh well what i want to tell you about this it, it didn't look like an orangey red on me it, it looked like a true red so that's good however this one did not look like a purple undertone pink it just like a pink on me like a hot pink i'm not really crazy about hot pinks um 
But I tried, uh, I don't think it was with this, this one was the same thing, but when I tried this one, this one's called Plum, but what I make of it, it's, these look like browns to me. Both of these look like browns. These look like true fall colors. Um, cause I've seen fall pinks that look like this. I have this really darkened, muted, pinkish look that looks like it might have a purple in there, but doesn't come off purple on me. But these both look like browns, though. This says plum and, and this says vamp. And vampy colors are usually like a black and purple. Haven't tried this one yet. When I tried this on, I did try to do the trade. First of all, it takes a little bit to dry down. It doesn't dry down right away. It takes like a good five minutes. So some people might not like that. But when I did touch it to my lips, maybe I should have waited five minutes. When I touched my hand to my lips, it did transfer. So I don't know. I, I heard someone saying that it didn't. So I guess you have to wait for it to really, really dry down. And it takes a good five minutes. So this looked like a brownish red to me, which, which I can get away with. Um, the red one looked like a true red. Um, I really wasn't crazy about this one. So I'm looking forward to trying the vamp color sometime this week. Um, so as for the eyeshadows, I fell in love with this palette. I was tempted to do this palette today, but I haven't finished taking pictures as I have been before school starts. I've been running around like a chicken without a head. I've just had the craziest summer. Uh, anyway, um, this one's called Velour Vixen. And um, this one has a like, like a brownish, it's a burgundy. It might be like a brownish black, but it's got a million sparkles in it. So I'm looking forward to trying that out. But I've said this before, when you have an eyeshadow like this, especially with Wet n Wild, they tend to just come off black. You don't see none of the beautiful sparkle in it. And I think I've, I've, I experienced that with Max. I, wanna, I can't remember. One of the really, really popular colors that looks like it has like reddish purple sparkles and it just comes off black. So you, if you, this looks like it's going to be a smoky because it says the lid. You're really going to have to put a dark base. Um, I might put a burgundy base or a black base in order for those sparkles to really show. Um, but I'm looking forward to doing this. Um, I'll probably wait till I finish. I only got two more left and I'll probably do this. This looks a lot like um, the Cosmic um, collection they had one year that was really, really popular. Um, it looks almost the same except that that one had like a, um, a gold and this has a taupe as a brow bone. And uh, that looks like it's going to be too dark for the brow bone. I like to do my looks first, how it says to do it in the thing, in, in the actual trios or palettes, and then do my own thing. So uh, this one I'm really looking forward to trying out. That looks like a black, but it actually comes off as a navy blue. So that's really cool. Um, that's a very pretty, like, emerald green color right there. And then, like I said, that's like a taupey color, like a uh, metallic taupe. This one's called Plaid, or Plaid to the Bone, and this one is Velour Vixen. So I'm looking forward to trying this one out. Um, so I was trying to find reviews on YouTube. It is too new. It just came out. Uh, but like I said, I did find like two girls that did a review. One bought the mascara, two of the mascaras, and, and swatched one on her hand. And the other one, like me, didn't bother with the mascara. It's just got the, um, the eyeshadows and the velour, I mean, the liquid lipsticks. She was at a Marshalls, and she was filming all the stuff that Marshalls carries in makeup. And I was pretty su surprised to find that they actually had, at least her Marshalls, um, I don't know where her Marshalls was at, has an actual wall just for makeup. My Marshalls doesn't have that. <laughs> um... But then again, I haven't been there in like a year or two, so I don't bother, you know, because they don't really carry makeup. And a lot of times they'll carry makeup that's been discontinued, but mine never get the good stuff, so it's just not worth it. But I'm going to check it out to see if they do have a permanent makeup, dis you know, wall. And hers had the display, and HEB and Marshalls had the display for this, and it was three to a display. So the Walgreens one is small, it's two to a display, but the Marshalls and the HGB one was three to a display. So if you have, you know, a, a some of your stores, I, I forgot the name, like, like I think it's Myers, uh, 
Fred Meyers, Majors, and some other places that get them in ahead of time. Some Bed Bath & Beyonds might be good, mine suck, and Carrie Wet and Walla Milani. They'll probably have those bigger displays. Um, so I know H-E-B had the bigger display, but um, I don't know what's going to come from CVS. I know when CVS carried the summer collection, it didn't have the nail polishes in them. So, you know, just, you know, if you have, you're lucky enough to still have a Rite Aid, have a Kmart, check them out, see if they have it. I know when I was in New North Carolina, mine never had the limited edition, my Kmart. Um, my Rite Aid started bringing them in when I left. They always had everything, so I miss them so much. Um, so, you know, keep an eye out. I, I, I was stalking my Walgreens for a few days until I got these at HEB, but, um, they thought they might have gotten a shipment in this weekend. My daughter thought so too, but she couldn't find it in her shippers. So, um, um, since other, uh, Walmart and Walgreens, I mean, are getting them in, I'm going to say that hopefully this week, the rest of them will get them in. So, you know, call around your, your stores. I know this one girl says she called 24 stores. She visited eight, called 24, and the last one she called, the 24th one, had them. So she had to rush out there and get them. So Walmarts are usually like 10, 20 blocks apart. I mean, I mean Walgreens. I keep saying Walmart. Walgreens, because my Walmart sucks. I don't carry them in addition anymore for a long time. Uh, I know that um, as far as I know, from Pearland to Clear Lake, there's a good 10 Walgreens. And if I start going to Houston, there's like another five or six that I know up there. And then there's the one in Alvin, which is really good. That one is really good. They ha they get like all the limited edition and they get it like before everyone else. I guess the truck comes upward, I guess. Um, so, you know, just wanted to tell you that. And um, on their website, Wet n Wild announced on Instagram... Which really surprised me because usually they wait a month till after they, they're out in the stores. Wet and Wild announced that they uh, were going to be doing their first beauty box. Basically what it was is a bundle. And in a way this is good and in a way this was bad. What they're doing is they bundled the entire fall collection. Which is an awesome deal because I think I paid like $18 for this because I didn't get it at Walgreens, I didn't get my discount. So I think, uh, let me see, four, six, six times three is 18. So it cost me $18 for this collection. They're selling everything in the collection, including the mascaras and, and including one of each of the highlighters. So the bundle is like a $35 value and they're selling it for like 28 or 29. That is an awesome deal because you know, you're saving like, I don't know, maybe seven, eight, nine dollars. <sighs> what do you think happens? So you, you go on and as soon as they announce it, first of all, girls are watching every hour, you know? <laughs> to see what's on there, to see they're waiting for these to come on. So if they're at their job or their home, checking every hour, I'm telling you, to see if it's there. I checked like once a day, just not for me because I already had it, but like to let you know people know. Um, so they usually already on it, but they announced it on Instagram. And actually, no, I think I got an email. I finally found out why I wasn't getting my emails. It was going to the junk folder. Ridiculous. But I got the email. And But again, the days that this happens, I'm always out. I'm never, you know, I'm not like sitting home. I'm always going out doing one thing or another. I've been dealing with the school. Like I said, I had, you know, hit a little glitch last week. And so I had to go back today and, and get my son's, I mean, yesterday and get my son's book. So um, I didn't get home till late and I saw that Nuo Cheap had announced it. By that time, the web, you couldn't get anything. The website crashed because everybody's trying to order it. And again, I was, I had a hard time getting on. Uh, I have a friend here. Um, she, a friend that I met on YouTube and she told me about it. She had, uh, posted it on one of my, my videos. And so I tried checking it out while I was out. I kept checking it out like every 
you know, whatever, every so often as I was out, as I had the time, and I wasn't even able to get on the website. I'm like, what's going on? Because at first I didn't see what she was saying. And um, because um, for some reason, YouTube deleted the, the, um, the message. So I didn't get the full message. Um, but when I got home, um, I, I saw my email, I clicked on it, and it, I couldn't get on, I couldn't get on, I couldn't get on. Again, I'm just testing this because I already had gotten it. So I go, uh, finally get on. And I said, let me test it like I did last time. And I put 10 in my cart to see if it would allow me to buy 10. The good thing about it is that women aren't going to want to invest or women or men are not going to want to invest in that much money, $28. So the good news is they won't buy up 10 or 15 of it. Um... I tried to put 10 in my cart and as soon as you go to check out it crashes so i was trying all day after i got home i kept trying like like i, I would whatever i would crochet watch we go back on try i was doing that for a couple of hours on and off um, until before i went to bed and still before i went to bed i was not able to check out but i went to ebay and basically what people are doing is buying them up on wet and wild banking on or hoping that the order isn't going to be you know um canceled because they have canceled people's orders before because they just didn't have enough sometimes the inventory doesn't match the quantity online and they cancel orders so um they were already selling like three i think somebody bought three or four maybe six i'm not six of them and that's that's a, a lot of money it's 150 dollars right there and so they're really, um, you know, hoping that their order is going to come in. So they're already on eBay selling it, even though they haven't even gotten it in hand. That's the same thing they did the last time with the precious metals. So, you know, they're, they're again, not abiding by, by the wishes of their customers and their fans by limiting to how much people can buy. So they spent maybe $28, $29 on a set. And it's a 12-piece set because you're getting the um the two highlighters the two shadows the four liquid lipsticks and the four mascara so it's a 12 piece set they pay 29 probably plus shipping and tax well there's free shipping after a certain amount and they're selling it for like 63 dollars or more for a set and, you know, of course, it's like uh, supply and demand all sold out, rare to find, hard to find. So, like I said last time, I think if they care anything about the customers, they're going to make this permanent. Um, or continue to put them out in stores uh, as in, in other limited edition sets and supply more than just two to three per display. So... Just a heads up, that was yesterday, and and, and uh, when I got up this morning and I checked my Instagram, people were upset, it sold out already. But, uh, and, and then some people already got their hands on these and they don't really want these, maybe like me, I didn't want the mascara, so just be on the lookout if you want the fall collection, and um, you know, they're out already, it's, it's hit stores, so. Um, so yeah, so that's that, just. A